Hi everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Monday the 31st of December. You're very, very welcome. Thank you for joining me. If this is the first one of my readings that you're watching, please hit the subscribe button and join this lovely community we have here on YouTube. Happy New Year's Eve. I'm going to use the Osho Zen deck for today's reading. And I'm going to give you an idea of what today's energy is about and what you'll be working with. This deck is kind of a cult classic. It's very popular with a lot of people and it's very unusual. It doesn't follow the traditional kind of system of the tarot and it really is something special. So if you're looking for a new deck that's totally different, go for this one. Success, slowing down, and trust. I love it. So we have some conflict again. We have some contradictions, which totally makes sense here at the end of the year. So first of all, you feel like you're on top of the world, literally. You have mastered the beast, the tiger. You have got through another year. You have done well in 2018. You've grown a lot. And remember that. Don't go into the new year thinking, okay, it's back to work. It's, everything's back to normal. Everything's, let's go. Take the time to celebrate your success. Look at this woman. She's got her arms flung open widely and she's receiving all the confetti and glittering things that are coming down. So there's the opportunity today to celebrate your own success, to feel fired up and excited about what you've done and how much you've grown in 2018. And you're now entering 2019, sitting on the back of a tiger, moving forward, and you enter this new year with validation from other people approval from yourself and other people, success. You've mastered the physical world, which indicates that you've connected to the spiritual world. And because there's a balance between the earthly and the spiritual, that is the new energy in 2019 that is the recipe for success. In my astrology readings, I'm now including series and Pallas Athena in my charts and horoscopes because I have dreamt and seen that there's a change in the way we achieve things in 2019. It's being fed by the earth and rather than fighting and using old outdated masculine energy, we're drawing on our inner goddesses and warrior queens and that's how we're going to move forward now the next card is slowing down which is so fun considering we've just had this you're on top of a tiger and slow down in the sense that don't go into new year's eve kind of um feeling that you have to solve everything today or that you have to solve everything in the first couple of days of January by slowing down and the turtle is facing this way you integrate this feeling and you absorb it and you absorb it into your shell and it becomes your success in 2018 becomes part of your home part of the shell that protects you from the outside world. And each one of these parts that make up this protective layer on the turtle are experience and past years that have gone through. So maybe that was 2008. Maybe this big one is 2018 because you've had such great success. Now the this animal is moving slowly towards the ocean and they're often associated with 
longevity and wisdom. And that's the second time the cards are telling you, don't forget about the successes you've had, integrate them into your personality and realize that you can repeat them at will in this new year. Believe the evidence if you've changed jobs and you've done really well, then look back at that and give yourself a pat on the back and say, well done, instead of saying, okay, well, where's the next promotion? I need to get that. Or if you had a health condition and you went to four different doctors and the fourth doctor actually was able to help you and you've overcome that, then pat yourself on the back for being persistent and for going to see these different people and for healing yourself and overcoming the limitations of the physical world of your physical body and enjoy the success that you've had. If you've left a relationship or you've started a relationship on planet earth and it's a meeting of the minds and the body, then celebrate that, integrate it into your body, realize there's no rush, this isn't going anywhere. It's now part of your personality. It's always going to be part of your shell, so to speak, the, the shell that is your home and that makes up your personality. And that you don't need to move at light speed to do anything. You're exactly in the right place at the right time. And you're entering this new year here, looking back and honoring yourself. And by doing that, by looking back, you will see that you can fly, that absolutely anything is possible, that you're completely free, no more duality, no more protection and taking things slowly. If you look at what you've achieved in your life so far, and you really recognize yourself for who you really are. So this is a great time because New Year's Eve can be wonderful and fun if you're out with friends and if you've got a little uh, a party going on. But if you're by yourself or you don't care much for New Year's Eve, take a little bit of time to reflect on the year that you've had and look at the evidence of what you've done, all of the difficult things you've overcome. If you look at that evidence, maybe even write it down. What you're able to do is you're able to trust yourself because you've got evidence to look at. So for instance, I had a pill addiction. I went to rehab. I am now six months sober. I'm taking it one day at a time and I trust myself. I've done it. I look back and I pat myself on the shoulder and say, well done. I don't need to solve the future and I don't need to project myself into the future and say, oh, this is going to happen. And what if in July the trip falls through and what if the um, economy goes to hell when Brexit happens? Don't look at all of that. Don't project. Look at what you've achieved on a personal level. Don't try and control the outside world. You'll have trust in yourself. Trust is something that you build over time. A lot of people say, I trust everybody until they betray me and then we're done forever. And other people say, I don't trust anybody. Trust has to be earned. They're completely different approaches, but most of us in life don't trust ourselves to, to, achieve the things that we're meant to achieve and to build the best life that's possible for us. But if you examine 2018 and how you've got involved this year, you will be able to have that trust with yourself finally by looking back. And that trust then in yourself opens you up and allows you to maximize your infinite potential in 2019 and you can go flying into this new year with nothing to stop you. This is far outside the realms of what's natural. We're, we are controlled by the law of gravity. We don't fly. 
So by believing in yourself and by trusting in yourself, you can achieve the impossible. You can achieve what no one else has achieved. And trusting in yourself comes from looking at evidence, loving yourself for the amazing things that you've done, connecting with your higher self, so the perfect balance of connecting with the universe and abstract thoughts and applying it to planet Earth and realizing that, yes, you do live on planet Earth and that you do need to protect yourself and that you do need to move forward. But because you've got this complete protection now, you can totally trust that you're safe. Nothing's going to harm you. So if someone comes along and tries to hurt this animal, just goes inside the shell and it's completely safe. And that's what you've got. You've got complete protection because of what you've achieved in 2018. And now anything is possible for you, even the things that you've been afraid of. So let it all go. Celebrate the fact that you've done so well in a year that has had major ups and downs and allow yourself to fly. And we're not seeing any... Are we seeing any boyfriends or girlfriends here? Are we seeing any institutions? Are we seeing any money? No. We're seeing a person who trusts in themselves, who is guided by their own love and feeling, and because of that can fly alone, solo, without the help of anyone else. So you've grown so much that you don't need a crutch. You don't need to rely on other people. You don't need to put up walls to protect yourself anymore. You can let it all go and you can just fly. So enjoy this last day of the year. Realize who you are. That's the main thing that you will get from this day. That you'll actually see who you are and how well you've done. And a lot of people say, oh yeah, whatever, everyone does that. No. Recognize what you've done and honor yourself. And don't celebrate New Year's Eve. Celebrate you. Celebrate what you've done in this year. And now that we've got this symbolic fresh start. And realize that because of what you've done, you're perfect as far as planet Earth is concerned. You're, you've overcome the Earth. You're on top of the world. You've overcome predators and people who would harm you on planet Earth. And because of that, you're now leaving the planet, so to speak. You are transcending any worldly problems because you've been there and done it before. And you've proven to yourself that you're unstoppable and that you're free and that you can do whatever it is you want. And you can become the person that you dream of. And nothing or no one is going to stand in your way because you love and trust in yourself and you can fly. Amazing. Six, one, one is eight. Eight is about power. So by recognizing who you are and embracing it, you have infinite power, infinite power, potential that you can actually now look at, use, and transcend any sort of problem that you have on planet Earth simply by believing in yourself, not in your pension plan or your shield in battle. You trust you. And that's what makes you exceptional and free. So all the power is yours. Have a wonderful, wonderful New Year's Eve. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading with me. In my personal readings, I do use tarot, astrology, and numerology. The way I combine the numbers with the tarot, I combine all three in my private readings. The astrology chart is a blueprint of your soul. It shows me 
what your maximum potential is, how, where you're going to be successful, where you've put up walls in your life and how that limits you. It shows me what your life purpose is, what will make you feel like you, you're free and flying, what your vocational talents are, so what you're good at and where you will be celebrated on planet Earth. It also shows me what's destined for you in love and progress and power and career and finance and health and friendships and spiritual progress. I can answer any questions you may have. I can do horoscope compatibility to look at whether you and another partner work. I, I can answer any questions you may have. So if you are interested, then please visit the website, gregoryscott.com. Click on the book your readings button on the front page or the readings button, the readings tab. Have a wonderful New Year's Eve here and I will speak to you tomorrow.